the middle obviously is a lot different than goaltending from shots down the side. As I said earlier, when you're getting a shot from the side, you want to utilize your pull. And you, ne- and you, all, you never want to have your goaltender facing the ball. When it's coming down the middle, if you do that, look at how much I'm giving up. So obviously that doesn't apply. The further the ball comes into the middle, the more you want to kind of bring your goalie facing the ball. If he's shooting right down the middle, now A, it's definitely the hardest shot to stop. So don't feel bad if you do let a goal in. But kind of to do this, you don't want to be like this because you're giving up a lot on the side. Um, You're also giving up a little chip. Now a lot of times I kind of either like to turn like this or like this, depending on where the shot is coming from. If it's like this, You're kind of in the air, not too high so that the ball can slide under, but just enough in the air so that he can't beat you low and that you're barely, you know, barely allowing a lot of distance between the goalie and the the crossbar. If you're looking at the goalie, pretty much you just kind of want to be, you're looking at the ball, you want to just be watching it and pretty much you want to react. I know the shot's going to be coming quick, but if you're taking up as much space as possible, not too low so it's an easy chip, but you know... Mixing a distance between a good height and a good width, and then just kind of hoping to react, you know, where the where the shot's going to come from. You definitely have a good chance of stopping the ball. All right, so now Patrick's going to show a couple uh, a couple ways in which you can see me actually goaltending and see the difference between him shooting and scoring as opposed to me cutting off more of the angle. Okay, go. All right, now here's how most people goaltend when they're beginners, and let's see what how Patrick does when I'm when I'm giving up all of this room. Now let's see how he shoots against me when I utilize my pole and change my position a little bit to cut off the angle and limit his options. I'm viewing our instructional video today, and uh, a couple last pointers. Just remember to always make sure to utilize the pole, make sure when it's at the angle to never face the ball, make sure to keep it a little elevated so that the ball doesn't slide under, but, but that the ball you know, isn't easy to chip over. And and the best way to practice, obviously, to to make sure that you can someday become a world-class goaltender, practice, play.